So I'm going to take this Dell Esperion laptop and I'm going to turn it into a Linux laptop. So while cleaning out my church, I was gifted this laptop because I know I like tech. And it's just been sitting in storage, you know, for just collecting dust. And I had the idea of, wait, I can use this. Password protected, so I can't use the Windows version of it. I'm not going to really want to. But I thought, what if I put Linux on this? And more particularly, Linux Mint. Now, in order to do this, all we're going to need is this USB drive that has Linux already installed on it. Now, you want to know how to make a drive like this? Let me know down in the comment section below. Now, we shut it off and bring it back up. We're going to hold down either F2 or F12. It's going to be depending on your make and model, so you might have to do a little research. Now, F2 is going to let me disable secure boot. And when I'm done with that, F12 is going to get me to the menu where I can boot up from the drive. After you disable secure boot, going into the F12 menu for me, you have the option to boot into the boot drive. Now for me, my bootable drive contains Linux Mint Cinnamon. So that's what I see in my menu and that's what I just have to select. And once you made your selection, you just let it do its thing. Maybe you have to click yes to keep it going, but honestly, just sit back. This might take a few seconds or maybe a few minutes, uh, but this is one of the best parts just because it makes you feel smart, honestly, by seeing all this. So now we have Linux Mint. Now we're not 100% done here because it's not actually installed. Right now we're running off the USB. Now do you see that disk at the top left of my screen? Uh, that will be the actual installation. So if you decide to actually go through with this operating system, then you will select that. But this is the time if you want to just try it out. If you don't like it, start over, unplug the drive, and you go right back to Windows. But that's not what we're going to do here because we've already committed. Once you decide to go on through with the installation, it's pretty straightforward. You just follow the prompts, select your language, you know, your, where you're located, your time zone, things like that. And it really is easy at this point. Now, I didn't mention this at first, but you will have the option to either dual boot your computer or do a clean install, which means wiping everything and replacing it purely with Linux. For some people out there, it makes sense to have a dual boot operating system, uh, but just for the lack of headaches, I'm just going to do a clean install. And you'll know you've done it right when it reboots into Linux rather than Windows. And we've done it. This laptop is now running Linux Mint, full with a whole bunch of goodies that come right out of the box. Hopefully you found this helpful, especially if you got an old computer around collecting dust, so it don't just end up as e-waste. Tell me what you guys think.